Alrighty, Aquarius. So this is going to be your reading for February 11th through the 18th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you're new, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with my messages in the future. And we're going to jump straight in, guys. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me as well, my website is www.mysticalcrystals.com. You can go ahead and check out the link in the description box, as well as my other links for my, um, my other YouTube channel and my Instagram, stuff like that. And let's see what's going on with you guys for this week. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius, guys. Okay. All right, so this is all I'm going to take. So I really feel like this week, guys, um, there's a situation here or a person that is trying to come back into your life, okay? Um, this may be a relationship that ended and it ended on really bad terms between you and this person. But I really feel like this person is trying to come back around. Um, especially if you thought the situation was over, <laughs> you thought it was done, done, it's not done. Okay. This person is wanting to be with you. I'm also seeing here, uh, okay. It's coming back again. I'm seeing where also for some of you guys, but this reconciliation that somebody's trying to bring forth you may be like finally letting this person know like, look, I'm done with you. It's just not going to work. Okay. And going about your business. Some of you guys could be celebrating some sort of accomplishments this week, or you could be going out there. Or for some of you guys, a situation where you thought that there was only two people involved, there may be another person and it may be bringing a sense of sadness to you this week. I also feel like if you are upset about some things, you do need to make sure that you're holding your head high and going about your business and just allowing yourself to move forward here. Because I feel like a lot of people are going to be showing their true colors this week. And you just need to be open to kind of realizing people's true natures. I also feel like a lot of you guys are going to be getting more in touch with your spirituality. Especially if that is something that's been helping you deal with the circumstances that you've been in for a while. Your spirituality is definitely going to be stepping up this week. And some of you guys may be finding out that you have some spiritual gifts and that you actually want to learn how to make money from them. Okay, and bring, bring a sense of stability. Because for some of you guys, you may have felt like some things were out of your control for some time. But I feel like you are trying to regain that control this week. Which deck am I going to use? Totally blanked on what deck I wanted to use. We're going to use this one. you guys do need to make sure that you're tuning into what your heart is wanting for you um or where your heart is calling you and also seeing where things are no longer why can i not talk today looking at where things no longer align with your path okay some of you guys may be still holding on to some things that are energetically done for and you may need to realize where the situations, the people that you're dealing with may be leaving you in shambles and why you need to disconnect from those connections as well. And I feel like also you guys through meditation, a lot of insight will be coming in. So I would definitely make sure that you are taking time to meditate, to get grounded and to see 
what insights come through through meditation as well and I also feel like a lot of you guys are going through a spiritual awakening. Like I said, a lot of you guys are going to be stepping it up when it comes to your spirituality this week. But nonetheless, I really feel like you guys um, are going to be putting a lot of things in action, right? Um, you may have multiple things that you're working on financially or creatively, but I feel like you guys are trying to put things in order when it comes to your career. Also, you're being called to follow your passion when it comes to whatever you may want to do and make sure that you're giving your best, okay? Giving your best, putting in that hard work. And I feel like a lot of you guys will be compensated for your creative talents if you do continue to build that that business. And through this, I feel like also this week, it is cautioning you or the universe is cautioning you to be cautious in your decisions, making sure that you are taking the steps necessary. Yes, but being meticulous in your action and meticulous when it comes to your attention to detail as well. Alrighty. Because I feel like there is some sort of new opportunity for you guys to get money and it's coming at you guys fast. But what needs to happen here is you guys do need to make sure that you are um, successfully multitasking and also being ready for these sudden changes, okay? And you could be dealing with a fire sign or you guys are taking on these energies of being very passionate about what you guys are doing this week or being very leadership minded or just overall going after your dreams but I feel like this is a real big week for money more than anything Okay. And I also feel like you guys are going to be encountering a new love this week. I feel like a lot of signs have been getting this card. So whatever. But um, I feel like with your love life, guys, you do need to make sure that you are freeing yourself from a mindset, a situation, anything that may be keeping you blocked here from moving forward in a positive sense, because I feel like there is a new connection trying to come into fruition here, but you may be tied to a very childish circumstance, or there may be childish energy going on between you two, or there may be actual children causing some sort of separation this week. But I feel like some of you guys, if you have been separated from this person already, um, there is a need for you guys to work through this childish behavior. And if you haven't separated from this person yet, this week that may be a possibility. So make sure that you guys are getting your childish behavior or some of you guys are not being childish. It may be your other partner. But making sure you're getting that part of yourself under control or there will be some sort of separation this week, guys. I also feel like there is a strong attraction between you and another person, but there may be a need for somebody to keep an open mind in this connection because one person may be different than what they're usually used to, whether that's like physically or mentally, but there needs to be an open, there needs to be, somebody needs to keep their, their mind open to the possibility of what this relationship can become and i also feel like there is some sort of past life relationship this week going on okay this may feel like you've known this person before or the connection is just that strong where you guys like feel like the bond is just so strong that you don't even know where it may have developed from but you guys do need to be open to seeing where this connection is going to go guys So the energy surrounding your love life for this week, I really feel like you guys are in a space of feeling fulfilled within yourself um, or your wishes are starting to come true. Maybe you're dealing with the Leo or any person in particular, it could be a water sign, but 
your wishes are coming true. And I feel like there is going to be a level of you needing to be strong when it comes to, um, when it comes to getting love into your life, because for some of you guys, you may have had like some stagnant energy for a while, whether this is like you being stuck to a relationship or you energetically keeping yourself off the market. But I feel like that cycle of being just stagnant and not really having any real movement in your love life is coming to an end. And there is going to be a sense of balance being brought to your love life. And it's going to require you to be patient as well with the temperance energy. Because I feel like your spirit guides are ushering someone into your life, okay? This may be a Sagittarius, fire sign overall, but I feel like there is going to be a chance for you guys to put work into this relationship. But working through that energy of just going off the handle sometimes is going to be important here, all right? But I feel like you guys are going to be taking some sort of action here to either cut someone off who's fickle with you emotionally or go after someone and show them how you feel. But again, there's going to be a need for you to be consistent in your giving of emotions because this may um, cause some issues and cause you to be single, all right? If you're not concrete with the way that you show emotions. Alrighty, so what's going on with my... Aquarius cross watch your partner person in question for February 11th through the 8th, please. What's going on with my Aquarius cross watch your partner person in question? So I really feel like this person doesn't know what to do. If you are dealing with a water sign from your past or somebody who you have kids with, this person doesn't really know what to do with this connection. They care about you deeply. The feelings are reciprocated here. But um, I'm seeing where like somebody may be flying off the handle to either cuss the other person off, cuss the person off, cut the person off or cuss them out. And that may be some like some sort of issue here with that. But this person does want to take action towards like leaving that part of this relationship behind like I feel like it's been causing a level of instability within the connection and this person's going back and forth in their head about what they want to do they love you but the energy is very fickle and they feel tied to this they want to put work into this but they don't want any other partners or other people to be involved so until they feel like there's no other people involved in the situation they are going to be going about their business focusing on their money Alrighty, so that's what I'm seeing for my Aquarius for this week. I hope that I was able to give some sort of guidance on what's going to be happening. I wish you guys the best of luck. Again, if you do want a personal reading, my website is www.mysticalcrystals.com. You can check out the link in the description box, and I will see you beautiful Aquarius in your next reading. Bye, guys. Have an awesome week, and happy Valentine's Day.